What happened that night you all went to Sharon Tate's house? What really happened? Mm. And we drove to the house uh, with instructions to kill everyone in the house. From Charlie? Yeah. Um, and not just that, but that we were instructed to go all the way down every house, hit every house on the... On the street? On the street, yes. And kill all the people kill in those houses? all the houses. people in all those houses. A wandering band of members of a so-called religious cult with a leader they called Jesus has had three of its followers arrested in the investigation of the murder of Sharon Tate and six others. Hi everyone, this is David Oman coming to you live from the Oman House on Hans Cielo Drive. We're about 150 feet down the private drive from where Sharon Tate's house once stood, the site of the infamous Manson murders on August 8th-9th, 1969. This evening should be very, very interesting, and proved to be very interesting in the sense that I haven't had any visitors in this house to do any paranormal investigating in about five months. <gasps> Look at that, you were asking him not to move earlier. What's going on? <gasps> Shut up. I am currently walking up Silo Drive. Silo Drive is the road that the Manson family walked up to get to Sharon Tate's house um, right before the murders. They murdered Sharon Tate and five others that night. I'm in Beverly Hills right now, it would have been pitch dark. And um, at the very end of the road are the gates to the Sharon Tate house. The family actually came in and cut the wires so they couldn't call the cops or anything like that. It's just absolutely mad being here. Um, I never thought I would ever be able to investigate this place and you know this story has interested me for a very long time so I'm really really glad to be here tonight. I am a little bit nervous though. I just can't shake that feeling for whatever reason. <laughs> I'm here with Barrier Beyond and um, you guys, guys probably know them already. If you haven't checked out their channel yet, I'm going to link it in the description below, but they're going to be joining us for this investigation tonight. Hell yeah. And Jim, you got everything you need, Jim? No. <laughs> it seems like you brought enough. Can we bring more? <laughs> it's almost investigation time. Uh, everybody has their equipment. We are ready to go and I also need to introduce, uh, we also have Judith that is going to be joining us on the investigation tonight. <laughs> Judith is a new face. It's actually Jim's missus. So yeah, first uh, investigation, right? Yeah. How are you feeling? Super stoked and excited. This is a big one. We're just gonna see how it goes, but Judith is actually pretty sensitive herself. So, you know, beginner's luck, you know? Mm. You know how that goes, right, Jim? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Just setting up for the interview right now with David and uh, Jim's camera is already... Malfunctioning. Mm -hmm. Jay, do you wanna come check this? Yeah. How's it got a weird vibe to it? Like you said, I'm just trying to feel it. It's trying to get like very clear that there's energy here. Let me just bump this just a little bit. Oh, there it goes again. Oh. Yeah, that's good. And we are definitely not alone. It's scary. I mean, I, I, I'm sitting here and it's like so quiet, and yet it's not. And I mean, I've lived here almost going on 20 years come August, and 
Wow. So do you believe that the murders that happened in the Sharon Tate home has obviously something to do with this place? Well, I'd like to say that I think that the spirits of the victims of that tragic night visit the house, but um, they are far, far from the only spirits that visit this house. I have never actually seen the apparition of Sharon Tate. I've heard her, we've recorded her, we've um, sensed her presence, but um, one of my dear friends, Al McCary, who on a, upon her first visit to the house here some 18 years ago, actually said that she thought she saw my girlfriend in the house. And I was like, so I sat there and I, I said, Alma, what did, what did she look like? And she said, well, I'm sitting at the dining room table and I see this girl walk from around the, from the den, around the bar. She turned her head and she looked at me and she smiled. She describes this woman as having, having long, straight, blondish brown hair. She's about five foot six. She's wearing a sundress. At the, it's a miniskirt type of a thing. It's a mid-thigh. She said she had very shapely legs. They were naked but tanned. She acted like she owned the place. She looked at her, smiled, and walked down towards the staircase and walked down the stairs and left. We went through the house. There was no doors unlocked. All the doors were shut. The windows were shut. There was no sign of this girl that Alma has described to us. That was the first time that we had ever had anybody who had ever been here describe seeing the apparition of Sharon Tate inside the house in physical form. She didn't even think she was a ghost. For the most part, every part of the house is active. The third level guest bedroom has got great activity or has. The stairwell, the, the second floor hallway, the laundry room area, that's where you're probably going to get some activity. But don't hold me to it. Because I hate the spirits to say, oh, he thinks he knows us so well. And I'm like, I'm not trying to put anything off on the spirits. Again, the, this bathroom, as a matter of fact, I just was told, it's like, oh, you forgot the upstairs bathroom. Yeah, in this upstairs bathroom, we've had the faucets turn on by themselves, the door locked by itself, the garbage can next to the john start dancing around on its own like it's doing a, the mambo. It's hard to say what's going to happen. I have a feeling that... Um, I think that you'll be um, pleasantly surprised at the activity that occurs. And did just, you guys, did anybody just hear? Attack, third attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And, and by the way, while we're here, if anybody has any experience that says, I heard something from upstairs, write down the time, write down what room you're in, and we will verify it because there are 25 CCTV cameras throughout the entire house. So it doesn't matter if we're on the third floor, if something happens up here, we'll be able to review it. Um, let's see, during my time here at the house, and I just heard that right over there, I heard something yeah, snap. Yeah. That's them. So there's literally knocking coming from all oh, of yeah. us. Yeah. The knocking. Have you ever touched Jim? Because I noticed. Yeah. Jim? Yeah. Did you got touched? Yeah, like on my shoulder. Just felt like three fingers on the back of my shoulder. Tapping you. Yeah. Yeah, they're here. They're letting you know they're around. All right, a number of years ago, we had shot my movie house at the end of, end of the drive here. And uh, my key grip, who was a South African gentleman, who it turns out was a complete skeptic, was staying here in the third level guest bedroom. Well, um, the last night he was here, we had a seance. Nothing happened, and he went to bed. But he was, went to bed at about 10 after 2 in the morning, put his head in the pillow, and started to fall asleep at which point he felt a something, a force, start dragging him up to the corner of the ceiling. And he says, no, put me down, put me down. And he says he heard a man's voice say, you're coming with us. At which point he started screaming and yelling and he found himself sitting bolt upright in bed on the opposite side of the mattress. He says, you know, I have to admit, I was a complete skeptic when I came to visit your house. But every night at the crack of dawn, I would have somebody walk into the room and start tugging my feet. So to me, it was just a, it was just an offense to the spirits of somebody saying, "You don't exist," and the spirits going, "We don't exist." Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've got something to learn about spirits. I think it was just one of the spirits, the regulars here, that said, "You know, we don't exist." <laughs> well, you've been here for two weeks, and we've been tugging at your feet every gosh darn morning. I think that. You have to now stop acting so disrespectfully towards us, and we're going to let you know that we exist. Again, the idea that a spirit 
grabbed somebody and took him up to the corner of the ceiling without any physical harm, any long-term physical harm to their presence or their being, is a statement of the fact that nothing happened to him. He was basically told to wake up and smell the coffee. Like I said, the only times that we've had people have um, traumatic experiences here are people like Zach Baggins, who was a complete, well, let's just say, wasn't very respectful towards the spirits. And I think that the spirits found him very disingenuous and felt like saying, you know something, piss off. Dr. Barry Taff visited the house in 2005, and Dr. Taff has said that he thought that the house had extremely elevated DC EMF levels. He said that his instruments were registering 2,000 milligauss positive, and DC EMF levels are supposed to be between the range of three to 500 milligauss positive. Do you think that it's easier for spirits to communicate okay. with the levels that high? So when you or you or you walk into the house, the spirits that are with you hit this environment, they don't have to manifest using their own pre-generated energies. They can draw upon the energy in the rooms and the house and actually move, move objects, manifest, and do things much more easily than in other locations. Uh, any other questions, guys? Uh, my camera just stopped recording, so... <laughs> <laughs> Are you... <laughs> <laughs> This is a picture of the day of the murders of the house. Um, you've actually got one of the bodies right there, and there's another body right there. You can't see oh, it, no. but the police is there, but that's police definitely covered with the, yeah, with, the, with the white sheet. This is the end of the driveway back in 1969. That's Stephen's car. You can see the telephone lines that are cut there, the two cops at the front entrance. This is in 1999 when we just, this is the Tate house that was under construction and this is during the construction of my house here. Um, and am I right in saying that you bought the lot for $40,000? Yeah. Back in when? 1998. 1999 we bought the lot in January of 99 and it was wow. 40000 It was a foreclosure. A it was a steal. That's yeah. it. Was a, I don't live here because I'm a big fan of Sharon Tate. No offense, Sharon. <laughs> I live here because the lot was $40,000 and my dad was a builder so we built the house ourselves. This is one of the first pictures shot here in 2004 of the ghosts. And this is the 35 millimeters. You can see it's Kodak paper. It's not a scan. It's a real photograph. It's a blow up. And you can see right Whoa. there, that's here. This is the fireplace. And this is right to the left of the fireplace. And I have blow ups of this as well. But you can see this. And this is 35 millimeter high speed film shot on the anniversary of the murders, the 35th anniversary in 2004. So that would be where the fish tank is right now. Right. This is in front of the Tate Gate in 2004. And what's interesting is, is this picture was shot here in the house. It's the same one. Yeah, it looks similar, like the same. Similar pattern, two different rooms, two different locations the same day. Two Patty. Happy birthday, all my best, Sharon Tate. Wow, so you actually have like handwritten letters. Well, the note and the book came together. I bought, the, somebody gave this to me and then the note was inside the book. I was like, holy crap. All right, guys, I think we have everything that we need so far. So I can give you guys a tour of the place. So you yeah, yes. really the tour. A lot of people have had experiences coming down this hallway of being pushed I feel like somebody's pushing down on their shoulders, forcing them down into the ground. A lot of people have experienced um, the sound of this happening once. And then we go to the door, we go and say, so there's no one in the room. They open the door and there is no one in the room. Um, this is the laundry room. There's been lots of activity reported here in this part of the house. By the way, you guys have to come up here and take a walk on the runway. This is just the... Um, well, that's the exit to the side of that me. That's the exit to the side of the staircase of the house. And if you guys feel and you want to, you can open the door and go look outside and turn the right. This side. is so this goes to the outside. Yes, that goes to the staircase on the side of the house. And there's a light switch. If you want to flip the switch, lots of me. Felt like I'm like in a fun house or something. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Nothing. But do, do take a walk to the end of this hallway on this side and see if you feel a difference in the energy on this left on this little runway here if not now later on we'll have to come up here and see how the energy feels later on 
Do you guys feel anything on that side of the uh, hole? Mm, no, not right now. No, not right now. I didn't feel anything on that side. Nothing on that side either, huh? No. When you walk in this runway, people or no people, if it's present, it'll be clear as a bell. You'll feel it and you go, mm -hmm. that's different. And by the way, this is Jack Johnson, the first African-American heavyweight boxing champion of the world, 1908 to 1915. His spirit's been reported here. Oh, wow. Jeez, I just walked in the room and I felt my head start to get... Wow. Like, just a little light, lightheaded all of a sudden in this room. Um, is anybody feeling anything in this room at all? Jasmine says she feels like going out. Jasmine? Do you? Yeah, I do. Is it just this room all of a sudden, or? No, it's just this the floor, whole the whole hallway, right? I really feel like going out, like really bad. I'm trying to hold it down. Oh, is it? This, the, this, the threshold right in here has gotten tense in my head. Wow. Yeah, Jasmine isn't doing very well. No. Is Jasmine in the bathroom because she feels sick? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I think she's actually thrown up right now. Jesus Christ, that's and, tough. And she, like, just ate and stuff like that as well. Like, it's not... She had some, like, guacamole, I mean, but that was fresh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my food. <laughs> she okay? Oh, uh, yeah, she's fine. She's, uh, she's vomiting, I think. Some seven up? She's fine. She's like, we can uh, continue. Does she want some seven up, maybe? I'll just drink some after. All right. Is that light supposed to be flickering? I wonder. Is that light supposed to be flickering, David? Which light? Over there. Whoa. You mean the one there? <gasps> no. No. No, Whoa. the one, this light's flickering over here. It shouldn't be flickering at all. <laughs> Is that them doing that? Well, it ain't me doing that. Oh my wow. oh my Jim, are you what capturing this? Like on a wide? Yeah. Oh this my is nuts. Good God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Jazz, are you Jasmine. okay? Yeah. Oh. Come in you here. Just out. What? Oh. There it goes. The yeah. Surprise! You see, you just missed that. It's like oh, no, she didn't. She missed nothing. Oh shit. <laughs> how are you feeling? It's fucking freezing. It is. It's yeah, down here you're, it's You're cold. right, it is freezing down here. Down here I do feel cold. It's 59 degrees down here. It's, you're gonna try to scare me, you know better. The light's doing that doesn't scare me. It concerns me because it's wasting electricity. Oh, lights, please, spirits, come on. This is enough. <clears throat> you're, you're wasting my gosh an electrical bill and I have to pay for it. We had this argument 10 years ago, I think it's been, right? Yep. Really? And this is the room, by the way, like that the yeah, that's the guy the said that the guy he was dragged up to the corner of the ceiling. And dragged up to the corner of the ceiling, and you can see in here though that the lights are, are working. Are perfectly fine. How are you feeling? I just feel sick. I felt sick. I don't, I feel normal now. Oh really? Right. Yeah, normal. Wow. Okay. That middle. The middle floor. Hit you, I was hit like, you like a ton of bricks. As soon as we got, down got the there, I felt. Nauseous. I had to go to the bathroom and throw up. Oh, come on, town. I just wanted to get out of there. And this is the room where the bathroom door locks on its own by itself. Yeah, I'm not using that restroom use then. That. I'll use I'll it, use it, it. With, the, with the door open, not closed. <coughs> oh, it's, doing just, that thing. it's like they're weird. Like... Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Okay, that. It's malfunctioning again? Yeah. Okay, we haven't even started. Yeah, this could this could genuinely just be an electrical problem though, or something like that. If there's somebody here right now, can you turn all the lights off? All the way. Holy crap! All the way. Can you make it as dark as you possibly can in here? Okay, can you turn them up all the way, please? Whoa, there was a big flash there. Whoa, what it's is It's trying to. You know what? It's crazy. I feel it's... It's trying to. Yeah. Look, they're... Oh, 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 shit. See, because it wasn't going they're that off. crazy Look, until we started off. asking that. So this, this is the side of the mountain. This is the side. This is underneath the house. This is the earthen wall room. And this looks like, what is this? Like a little um, altar. altar? For the Native Americans? That's not to say that there's multiple people buried here. This isn't a Native American burial site. One guy died 
was was killed when he fell down the hillside and him and his horse broke their necks and their remains were left interred in the earth here. Yeah. There's, there's, some there's, there's some tobacco, somebody left a $5 bill, somebody left some uh, cedar, um, some sage, some crow's feathers that were found around the neighborhood, some, I don't even know what the hell this is, this is new to me. Somebody left some, a bag of, Jesus Christ, I live here and I have no idea what the hell this is. Is it weed? It's, <laughs> 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 no. Oh yes, and this is the rack of the wine rack where the bottle of wine came out on its own. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Why is there a TV in here? Do you watch um, TV in here? <laughs> I, well, do you notice there happens to be a hammock here as well? Oh, it's a man cave. I think. I think. Yikes! <laughs> this is like a spooky Pee Wee Herman house. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, it's Pee Wee's Playhouse for ghosts. All right, so Jim, Judith, and I, we are heading down to the basement right now. Um, that's where the lights were flickering when we were doing our walkthrough. And uh, Jasmine and Victor, they are going to stay upstairs on the top floor where the living room is. Just gets colder and colder as we walk down these steps. Huge temperature difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was that? Literally same place I put my camera, and the screen goes exactly like that every time. Okay, that's a little bit strange because yeah, yeah that, that happened about thirty minutes ago when we came down to do the walkthrough. What? What's going on? <gasps> Shut up. That children's piano just started playing by itself. That was you, can you guys, uh, or whoever, could you please do it again? If something's here, could you walk close to, uh, to the EMF detector here? It's right in front of us. Just to even a little bit of a spike to let us know that someone's here. And there's another device here in the corner. The same thing. We just gotta get close to the antenna. And this is a pretty uh, straightforward question. Can you light it up if you know who Sharon Tate is? It's pretty calm. calm in here. I feel like a lot of the activity was happening when David was around us. Yeah, do you wanna take just a few minutes and just sit in another room and yeah. see if there's anything? Yeah. Where to knock? Coming from the bathroom. Are you in here? I'll put this right here, okay? I'm gonna sit on the toilet. Huh? If there was somebody in this bathroom, somebody trying to get my attention in here by knocking in the bathroom, can you go over to that little device there, the ball next to the sink, and can you go ahead and light that up for me? Just to show us that you're here with us. I haven't really felt much since I've been in here. No. Like in this house. I don't know what it is. Like I was really, really excited about this place. And I still am. Like it's still early in the night and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm ready to see some like real proof here. I'm not feeling anything down here. No, me neither. I wonder no. how Victor and Jasmine's getting along actually. I was just wondering, are you guys getting any um, activity or anything like that? It's pretty quiet down here. As if somebody was walking up the stairs. We did K2, but got nothing on K2. And I think one of the doors opened up, but we're not 100% sure. The doors from the from the, the, the water tank, the fish tank. And uh, But we just wrote it down to see if maybe it was captured on one of David's uh, cameras. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, just, just double checking. It, but it's really quiet down here, but we're going to keep continuing the investigation. But just let us know when you want to swap. Obelisk on. This is another device to... Whoa. Take your phone away. Is there somebody here with us right now? Did you just go over ahead and touch that device? Can you do that again for us? So we know that it wasn't the phone? 
the yeah the K two is going off on this bed. It's it's going off quite a bit. Can you tell us tell us where we are. L O W. Low. <gasps> I said tell us where we are. It said low. We're in the literally in the basement. What did it say? Logic. Low object. Low object. Oh, object. Is that because you are communicating through this object? Is that the object that you're talking about? Oh, I got shivers. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we got shivers. Can you come and uh, talk to us a little bit more? Can you tell us how many people are here? Is it just the one? Can you tell us how? Whoa. Can you tell us how many people are in this room? You can do it. You're doing a great job. Really good job. We want to know if the story is true. Was there a man lying in the bed and did he get dragged up to the ceiling and thrown into this corner and back onto the bed? Can you please confirm that story with us? Is that story true? Do you, do you mind if I sit on the bed? Or would you like a female to sit on the bed? Well, I think that the story was that it was a male that was in the bed. So I think if you lay in the bed, then it might... I don't know. Why do I feel like bait again? <laughs> <laughs> you might want to move that through your tissue though. What is it? <clears throat> tissue there. Is that a happy tissue or a sad tissue? <laughs> oh! It felt hard. I felt like a hard tissue. <laughs> No. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Strange. Strange? Yeah. Strange. That was strange. That's oh, weird. yeah, that just started going like... 100. 100. Is... There's 100 people here? Is that what... Did it say 100 or it's haunted? 100, yeah. Oh. What? Like nothing there. Wait. Open the door real fast, Judith. Oh. Whoa. Remove. Remove. <laughs> I got off the bed when I said when that happened. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're coming through here. If you're in this room with me right now and doing this to the lights. Can you go over to that device over there and can you touch it for me? Just touch the antenna over there. I'm getting that uh, like web effect again on my ears and my face again. I think that that's what happens when you start to feel really affected. Thank you for communicating with us so far. If there is somebody here with us, you're more than welcome to join us in the next room, okay? Ooh, that was a bit intense. Did you wanna... Um, Do you want to turn it off, turn this off, or leave it on? Do you um, want to put the lights off in here? Oh. The second you said that, really? <laughs> well, I'm going to cut it off. <laughs> Fair enough. You're going to offer a starburst? Yeah. Why not? Why are you so close? What do you mean? <laughs> this is where the chairs are. What do you mean why I'm so close? Oh. Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> that one did Um. Oh, there's a light switch over here. Ah! Yeah, it's completely pitch black. Okay, so... Did you guys hear that? Yeah. yeah. Was on the no, it's next to me. Mm -hmm. No, I'm hearing tapping coming from this wall here. Same. Is there someone sitting next to me? Okay. I didn't like that. The second we turned the lights off. My battery just got drained. Really? Completely. <gasps> what the hell? We literally... I just changed batteries. No, we seriously just changed batteries. Well, we've only been down here half an hour. That's insane. Yeah. Okay, something doesn't want us in here. My battery's fine just now, so we'll just keep rolling with it. Okay. 
If there's somebody down here with us right now, we want you to walk up to this device and talk directly into it, okay? Can you tell us what your name is? Do you know who Sharon Tate is? What is your name? What year is it? Is there somebody here with us right now? Dead. I thought I heard scratch. I just want to document that. I'm not sure though. Can you confirm? Did you just say scratch? Are you okay? Do you want us to leave? Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get going now, okay? Goodbye. I mean we got so much more activity in the bedroom than we did down here. Apart from that tapping, I mean we are in a dirt basement, it could literally be anything, you know? Bugs, rats. The settling of the dirt in yeah. the house. I mean this house is you know. Guys, could you imagine if there was an earthquake right now? What? What? what you mean? Oh, sorry. That's just where my mind goes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. Okay, right. we're going to leave. You got one more chance to make a noise. Bang for us. Throw something. Pick up one of those wine bottles. I gave you a starburst. Throw that. Look at that. Who's the only person that's ever given you candy? You got rocks. What are you going to do with rocks? High and gourmet candy. The red ones. Nobody gets the red ones. Mmm, I'm going to take... Okay, no. Now we're just getting desperate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go and uh, meet Victor and Jazz right. and see if they captured anything. Apart from the lights going on and off, the keyboard did play by itself. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that was just the keyboard going into standby mode. Sure. Could have been all of this kind of stuff like isn't solid evidence right now and i'm still waiting for that wow moment mm -hmm. could you imagine if it just flew across the room you guys ready to get down tonight <laughs> oh we just heard like a little tap come from down here from down here from down here. <gasps> what? Did, what? Did you hear what? that? What? Did you hear that? Oh my god, Jade. What happened? What did you guys hear? I swear to god, I thought I just heard like a hiss. Like it's as like a, a bat or something. No, it was like, <sighs> like that. Should I just see if he heard that or what that was? I'm in here, yeah. That was not I. Okay, just double check in because no, I was, I was, I was quiet as a mouse. Right? Oh, have you got like the system up here? Yes, yes, of course I do. What do I mean to talk to you for? I love this. This is like your evil lair. Stop that. <laughs> Keep an eye on you guys more like it. I don't know. Hopefully that that picked that up. But, oh, um... I guarantee you it picked it up. I have like a little pack from down here. <gasps> what? 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 Did you hear that? How the heck did I hear that though? Like that's what's crazy. In the washroom. I was in this room. You follow. You guys were behind me. If you follow this hallway all the way down, up to the top, that's where the clearest voice is. <gasps> oh, look at that! You were asking that to move earlier. Whoa! Wait, wait, wait go back. Jim, oh, check this it. out. Dude, she was I asking asked it to, move. to move that earlier. And that's the timestamp of when. Oh. No way. I asked the entity to please move the chandelier. 
That's as we were walking down. Yeah. We did SLS, REM pod right there. Like just focusing on that area too. Because we kept hearing footsteps. Like someone walking up the stairs. Oh, that's really started to go when you guys like walked down the stairs. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. And I think that's happened. It's because you heard it though. Nobody else heard it but you. It was the weirdest thing. I literally, I heard the tapping noise, which I believe was probably that camera shifting from like night vision to... You know, because yeah. it's like motion censored, and the second I just turned my head around, that's when I heard that. And it sounded like it was just, it sounded like it was coming from the sides. It's crazy how it just cool. echoed through like the house, kind of. I cannot believe that you guys didn't hear that. I didn't. Oh my gosh, my camera battery is about to die. Do you so. need to go get another one, or yeah. do you have some? Heading down this very dark, spooky hallway. I need to recharge my batteries, so me and Jasmine are going back upstairs. And let's see if this is moving. Look, this isn't even moving. So this was not moving when you guys were asking it to move. Nothing, no. I'm starting to get dizzy up here. No, oh, I'm getting really dizzy up here. Oh! Those lights just turned on by the... <gasps> turned on by the... <gasps> no, I'm walking the guys right now. Hey guys. Yeah, we literally just walked up here and the lights were off on the dining room These table. Just turned on by themselves. And they just turned on by no themselves. Way. Yeah. I yeah. swear to God. Yeah. yeah, we both got on camera. Can you turn those lights off for us? There's definitely something up here. And Victor and I were here the whole hour. And the, the, nothing happened on, no. with the lights or anything like that? Mm -hmm. And those lights were off the entire time that yeah, you were off up here? the entire time. Is there somebody over here? Can you turn those lights off? You've seen the sensory deprivation on this channel before, um, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. I've actually figured out how to record the spirit box. So whatever is coming through that Jim is hearing and the messages that he relays to us, you guys will actually be able to hear that also. But yeah, this is this is going to be a great experiment. I'm so glad that we figured out this method. Can you tell us your name? Something's over by the REM pod, guys. Is that you coming down the hallway? Luke? Luke, we're looking. Door? The battery just died? Wait, didn't Jim just put a battery? Put a battery in Wait, too. just as we went upstairs? Guys, this is me talking right now. Yeah. Uh, so I'm getting like that sick feeling again. But it feels like where I'm sitting is like vibrating. I don't know if anybody else sitting down can feel I'm that. I'm sitting down and I don't feel anything. Are you yeah. okay? No, I, I'm good. No, I actually feel like a buzzing or a vibration. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop back into it. The REM pod's going, the pod's going off. Wait, what? Yeah. What? What? Huh? Nobody said Did somebody tap me on my shoulder? I did it. No. I didn't touch you at all. No. J uh, okay. Somebody went like this. I didn't. No. I didn't touch you at all. Victor was recording. No, Victor. I'm recording, recording the red pod. Okay. Is there somebody trying to affect Jim right now? Wow. What happened? What? You didn't hear that? No. no. Door trying to open. No way. I swear. Like the door handle moving? Yeah. Someone over there? Can you move the doorknob again? There's something about this hallway. It feels off. Oh. Good job. That's like right on top of that. We can feel you with us. You. Who? Me? 
Yep. What do you want me to do? It's okay. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I just got the shivers all the way up my back. Are you friendly? It's going like crazy. Whoa. Oh. What? Oh, this is me. I just coming out. Sorry. This is what's going on. <laughs> so there's definitely somebody here, oh, and they do definitely seem like friendly. It's probably Jack. Is this Jack we're talking to? Jack, is that you? Uh huh. <laughs> like I said, he'll respond. He's he's very. Um, it's very me. <laughs> So it's like I said, you do this have whole to... tone has changed as well. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, if this is you right now, if we put the digital recorder on, would you speak to us through it? I thought I heard. Mm -hmm. mm, I heard that too. Mm -hmm. I heard that. Okay, we're gonna stop this experiment right now and uh... wait. Do you have another message for us? And that just went off. Yeah? What's your message for us? Are you at peace, Jack? Nah. We're good. We're gonna stop this now. Copy. Yep. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but I'm like, I just got so hot. Like, really, really hot. I'm sorry, I feel I'm sick. That's something down the stairs. Did you guys bang something? No. no. What? No, we're still in the washroom. 1118. There's a camera right next to where they are. We can watch that. It was that. like 1117 or 18. It was right here. Something just banged. Right there. Yeah, back downstairs. We're doing the EVP special. Picture, what was that noise? We're doing the EVP special. We're doing the EVP special. Picture, what was that noise? Did you guys bang something? No. It was loud as hell. No. Downstairs or downstairs? Not right here. Is David coming back in? Oh, the se okay, so I think that something's attached to David. Yeah. Because, David, the second you just walked in, the REM pod started going back off. Do you come from next door? Look, this Holy REM pod shit. is going off like crazy. I just asked if it just came from next door. You came with me, didn't you? You came from next door when we were just visiting. The realtor had left the lights on. I'm seeing it from my balcony going, the lights are still on. What's going on here? So I went to turn off the lights, so they went to look in. Are you Sharon Tate? Can you light that up if you are Sharon Tate? I don't think it's Sharon Tate that came back from that house. When I talked about the maid going next door, it went crazy. It Chapman. went crazy. Right. Was that her name? Oh, Winifred Chapman. You're missing the maid. Wow, I just found Winifred, is that you? She passed away a few years ago, as a matter of fact. Winifred, if you're here, can you please make that device light up for us? You do an excellent job. Wow. Yep. That's nuts. Can you stop for two seconds? More than two seconds. Don't take me literally. Well, thank you very much, Spirits. What's interesting, you just walked by your REM pod. It didn't go off. I know. So that's a good way to show that people, that, you know, it's not being interfered with. All right. Did you go next? Did you go back next door? I'm asking. Did you go next door? Because well, if I'm next door, how am I going to respond? Um, and yeah, it's, it's and no, it's it's not went off for the past like ten minutes. And it has to do with I think I brought somebody back. The because, second you guys came yeah. back from that other house, I mean, and I know for a fact that Victor and Jasmine, they had both been uh, sat the REM pod in the exact same spot, and they weren't getting any results earlier. Yeah. I have not felt this 
a fact date on an investigation no yeah before like even in, in all the previous investigations i don't think i felt this effect no and i can tell long. with you because you're you know you're happy and you know up and around and i can tell you're just you're really really calm yeah i feel like we're all kind of just out of it i can tell with jim and everybody we just we're all just kind of out of it yeah I gotta say, I'm not feeling great. Um, I think it's about time that we wrap up the investigation for tonight. I feel like we got a lot of amazing evidence and um, I'm kinda happy to be getting out of here. Even though I don't think that there's anything super negative inside this house, whatever is here, just it just gets in your head. Like it just messes with you. I don't know if that's because this house sits on a hill with a higher kind of EMF reading to it. Um, if it's got anything to do with the electromagnetic energy, I don't know. All I know is I'm ready to go home and call it a night. So thanks again guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. It means the world to me that you guys are watching and supporting this channel. So until next time guys, have a good night. Bye.